The White House on Friday announced a plan to cut emissions of methane, a greenhouse gas produced by oil and gas drilling, cattle and landfills. Some places, including the country's biggest city, are now tackling the landfill issue with an unusual approach. The residents of New York City generate more than 3 million tons of garbage every year. That is more than Boston, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Miami, and Charlotte combined. One third of that garbage is food scraps and other organic material. And the city's now launched a program to conquer what some call the final frontier in recycling. Ron Gonin runs the city's recycling program. There's no reason why we should be spending taxpayer money sending something to sit in a hole someplace. It's completely absurd and uh, we need to move away from that as a society. It starts here. People separate out their organic material. Sanitation workers pick it up, take it to a facility where any remaining non-organics are separated out and turned into a thick sludge, then pumped into these 130-foot tall silver eggs, normally used to treat wastewater. Inside the eggs, microorganisms from the city sewage break down the sludge, turning it into fertilizer and methane gas that'll be used to power homes. It's a process called anaerobic digestion. When you hear the words anaerobic digestion, I get excited. <laughs> I get excited. For the city, it's a win-win. Less shipping, more renewable energy for homeowners. People have oftentimes looked at recycling as the right thing to do for the environment, which it is, but they're now starting to recognize that it's also the right thing to do for the local economy. Gonin believes New York will be recycling almost all of its organic waste in three to five years, and he says the program is designed to be copied anywhere.